So we want to look at a couple of questions that have been giving some trouble that involve some complicated GCF situations. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is the idea of a simple GCF, monomial GCF. So here the concept is that 18 and 27 are both divisible by 9 and the a squared b and the ab squared can both be divisible by 9ab. It gives us the GCF. So how do we use this GCF to our advantage? Well, basically, we can break up both of those pieces, both of those terms, with the 9ab as a common factor. The order of the terms doesn't matter, okay? Um, the factors, I should say. So I'm putting the 9ab's in different spots. But either way, we take both of those 9ab's in the front as a single factor. And the leftover 2a minus 3b just gets dropped into a second bracket, which I call the bracket of leftovers. And don't forget to put the equal sign in the front. Straightforward enough, that was with a monomial. Now we have to see how you do this with a binomial. So here I have 6 times 2a minus 5, 5b plus 4 times 2a minus 5, and they're added. So my common factor, my GCF, is 2a minus 5, which I can bring out to the front. The leftovers get dropped into another bracket. Hopefully that makes perfect sense to you and you can do that pretty quickly on your own. Now in this case the bracket, second bracket, has a bracket inside and so um, we can simplify this by removing that inside bracket and recognizing there are like terms for the 6 and the 4. Now you think you're done at this point but you've got to realize that there's a common factor of 5 in that second bracket which can be slid out in the very, very front, okay? It's always the best place to put it. We like to have the monomial factors leading, and then we recopy the rest of the example, and the 5b plus 10 has been reduced by a factor of five. Here's another question with a common factor of 2m plus three. The, um, the second part doesn't seem to have a second factor, 2m plus three, however, you gotta remember that there's always a common factor of one. So my 2m plus 3s are going to move out in the front, but you have to leave a 1 behind in that second factor, second term. 2m plus 3 goes in the front, the leftovers go into the bracket, and then we remove that inside bracket just like before. Like terms, negative 2 plus 1, both constants. Now there's more to this story later on because we're going to find out that the m squared minus 1 can actually break down some more. So that's more to come. Next GCF question. This one is a little bit confusing because there's a bracket with a squared on it. So I always recommend recopying that squared as two binomials. And then realize that when it comes to taking them out in the front, we can only take one pair of 2i plus 5s out into the very front. I could take that first or the second one from the first um, binomial square. The 2i plus 5s go out in the front and the leftovers get dropped into that second bracket. Remove the brackets. See if there's any like terms. In this case there aren't any so we'll just leave it as that. Now last question. Here's a problem where you have two brackets that kind of look the same but they're not the same. m minus n on the front n minus m on the back. So we have to use this concept that reversing a subtraction means opposite. So if I look at the factor m minus n, if that's going to be equal to n minus m, I would have to put a negative in front of it like this. And if you think about distributing the, the negative into the bracket, you'll realize that that would give you a negative m and a positive n so that they actually do match. So now what do I do with this? Well, you take the m minus n into that spot and you take the negative and you put it in that spot. It's reversing the subtraction, you change the sign opposite. Okay, if that was a negative there already, it would have turned into a plus. And now we continue on the way we normally would. The m minus n's, all right, are gonna come out in the front. The leftovers are gonna go into their own bracket. You remove the bracket inside the bracket. And in this case, a minus a is just equal to zero, so we get negative b on that second bracket. Now, this doesn't look very good. We don't like that negative all by itself in the bracket, so instead we're going to bring it out to the very front. 
and the negative b, we like the monomial factors in front also, and there's your binomial. So hopefully most of this works for you. Uh, you can review this, and if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. Thank you.